Uh, well, I think my love of uh, guns started early. My dad was a hunter safety instructor, and uh, we always hunted. And um, but uh, he always talked about old double barrels and the history. And uh, he was a history teacher, so the, uh, the information you know that I uh, gathered from him, I just kind of uh, you know kept going with it and meet pep, met people at gun shows and um, started getting involved in double barrels and uh, it kind of transitioned into big bore guns. This is a uh, English punt. Uh, it, was, it was probably used, it probably was never in the United States, but similar versions were in the United States. It's about a one, one and a half inch bore uh, punt gun, so the inch and a half inch diameter. It shoots uh, about 22 ounces a shot. Um, and this is actually a muzzle loader, even though it's a, a break open action, it was mainly for cleaning the gun. Um, so you could clean it out when you're in the punt boat. Um, this would have had ropes, they're uh, reaching ropes that have gone up around into the uh, bow of the boat, and they'd be pretty tight, and there were, that was the spring-loaded recoil mechanism, but the rest of it was the actual boat would actually sh you know, sh get shoved back a number of feet. So when you'd shoot this, you'd wouldn't want to be real close to it. That's why it's got a string. You'd want to be back a ways you know, in case something happened. And it did happen quite often where the gun would come loose and get people get hurt. So. This would have been a traditional uh, American punt uh, made by a blacksmith. Um, it has a real simple lock mechanism. Um, it is a muzzle loader, so it'd be loaded from the front. This one particular gun is about an inch and a quarter bore. Um, so it's a fairly, fairly decent size. It only weighs about 27 pounds. Um, it would still have been shot from, you know, from a boat probably, you know, a punt boat. Um, you really can't hand, oh, you know, shoot it. Um, I'm not sure the actual charge, you know, how much uh, shot, but it would probably be between four and uh, six ounces of shot at one time. And obviously black powder. So um, it's a uh, time period somewhere 1830s to 1900. Well, first of all, this is a E.M. Riley uh, eight bore or eight gauge, and um, it would have three and a quarter inch chambers. Um, so pretty close to our 10 gauge uh, magnums. Um, they shot around an uh, ounce and a half to two ounces of shot. Uh, so similar to most of our modern water falling guns. Um, but this would have been a gun for the elite. Um, you know, um, higher up people. This was not a cheap gun at the time. It was a E.M. Riley brought in from England. Um, it was owned by a prominent uh, businessman um, from Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, it, uh, it's been engraved with the same thing with Baltimore, Maryland and, uh, and his name, which is R.B. Bayard. Um, and he's connected to um, uh, his, like I said, his, I think his, he was a son of a senator and uh, he was, ex you know, in the, I think the market or the exchange, uh, the grain exchange in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, this been, yes, we've shot this uh, numerous times. It's in good mechanical condition.